Welcome to Monster Hunter Rise, it's Abyss, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to capture monsters. Keep in mind, if you have played any of the Monster Hunter games before, then everything is still the same. This video is for the new players that have never played Monster Hunter. Alright, so let's go over all the steps you need to know on how to capture monsters. First thing to note is, there are two different types of traps. First is the shock trap. This is my favorite trap to use, simply because it is easy to craft and it only requires two materials to make. You will need the trap tool and you will need a thunder bug and that's it. Second is the pitfall trap. This trap works just as good as the shock trap but will require four materials to make. You will need ivory and spider web to make a net and then you will need the net with this trap tool to make the pitfall trap. So I recommend using the shock trap first since it's easy to make and keep the pitfall trap as a backup just in case something goes wrong. Now you will need to go and buy the trap tool from the market. I like to buy 50 of them so I don't have to worry about them for a while. This is the one item that you cannot craft or get anywhere else but the marketplace. So just make sure you buy a bunch of them there. Plus, while you're here, buy a bunch of the tranquilizer bombs. You can craft these, but I find it easier to buy 100 of them or so. This way you don't have to worry about it for a while. You'll need two bombs in order to capture a monster. Okay, so let me show you where you can find the other materials out in the open world so you can see what everything looks like. First, I want to show you where you can find a couple of the thunder bugs. You need the trap tool and a thunder bug in order to make the shock trap. Then I'm going to show you where you can find a couple of these spider webs and the ivory. So you need those two in order to make the net. And then you need the net and the trap tool in order to make the pitfall trap. So after I show you a couple of locations, then I'll pick it back up. Next, go over to your item box where all your materials are at so we can start crafting everything. So if we tab over to the right, 035 is your net. Again, you need the ivory spider web, that'll make the net. Then right below it is the pitfall trap, which is net, and then the trap tool will make your pitfall trap. Then directly below that one, 037, is the shock trap, trap tool, thunder bug, that'll make your shock trap. So after we craft everything, you wanna go over to your item pouch and set up everything. Keep a couple of the trap tools on you just in case you run out and then you can find a thunder bug and quickly make a shock trap. Uh, you don't want to keep 10 thunder bugs on you like I'm showing you right now. You want to keep about three of them. If you have 10, then you won't be able to pick up any out in the open world. So keep only a couple of them on you. Next, you'll have your one shock trap and then you'll have your one pitfall trap. You can only hold one on you when you go on a quest. Your item box can hold a whole bunch of them, but when you go on a quest, you can only hold one. And you want to keep the max amount of number of the tranquilizer bombs. You need two to capture a monster. So I like to just keep eight on me at all times. So this way I don't have to worry about it. Set it up and then you can save it to your item loadout. So whenever you're going on a capture quest, you have all those materials on you and ready to go. Okay, so a quick tip. Whenever you're doing a capture quest, as soon as you spawn in, head over to the supply box. They're going to give you a bunch of free stuff. They're going to give you a free shock trap. They're going to give you a couple tranquilizer bombs enough to get that monster captured so don't waste your materials go to the supply box and pick up the free stuff to use for the quest all right now it's time to show you how to capture the monster 
Now, one of the most important thing to note is the monster has to be weak enough and have very little health in order for you to be able to capture it. So there's a couple different tells to look for when the monster is ready to be captured. Number one is your palico will actually say something on the screen, like the monster is weak and ripe for the capture, like I just showed you right now with the arrow, or if you see the monster limping away like I'm showing you right now. So if the palico says something or the monster's limping away, sometimes you'll even hear your hunter say something, stop attacking the monster and follow the monster to wherever it's gonna go. It'll either eat or it'll go to sleep. So whenever you catch up to the monster, just throw down whatever trap you wanna use along with two of the tranquilizer bombs and that will capture the monster. Very simple enough to do once we know how to craft all the traps and where all the materials are at and what to look for when the monster is ready to be captured. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, support the channel, and I will see you next time.